may be the first day of April, but today's weather more typical of midwinter than early spring, and it looks to stay on the chilly side right on through the next few days. Our high this afternoon, only 39. 33 was where we started this morning, five hundredths of an inch of precipitation, and also a trace of snow was reported earlier this morning. Most, if not all, of that precipitation is done with, but we're still dealing with some extra cloud cover. Temperatures now in the upper 30s, 38 degrees in Lima. It's 39 in Van Wert, 39 as well to the southwest in Salina. Because there's still a bit of a breeze, wind chills in the upper 20s to lower 30s, and actual air temperatures will fall back into the upper 20s by late tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy across our local area. Those snow showers and flurries that went through last night and early this morning, mostly off to the east. I can't rule out a stray flurry for the next hour or two, but really that should do it. Farther back to the west, north and west of Fort Wayne, starting to see some breaks in the overcast. So I am hopeful that we see a few peaks of sunshine before sunset, but most of the clearing will take place after sunset tonight, unfortunately. An upper level storm system generated those snow showers and flurries last night, but that's moving away to the east now across New York State back to the west across the midsection of the nation. Another storm system is taking shape that's going to drift northeastward over the next 24 hours and that will give us some precipitation tomorrow later in the afternoon and evening. It will be just warm enough so that what falls will be in liquid form. So our sky cast through this evening, skies will gradually clear out from west to east, partly cloudy by 10 p.m., a mostly clear sky for a time late tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. So we'll start our Saturday with sunshine, but clouds build in later in the afternoon. Some showers arrive. Best chance of rain during the evening time tomorrow as that upper level disturbance pushes eastward. The good news is most, if not all of that, should be done with by Sunday morning. Still some lingering clouds and then some peaks of sunshine likely by later Sunday afternoon and mostly clear clear conditions for our Sunday evening. Temperatures tonight falling back through the 30s over the next several hours. After midnight, we're down into the upper 20s. 29 in Delphus, 29 in Finley, 28 degrees in Bluffton by 6 a.m. During the day tomorrow, temperatures climb back slowly through the 40s, briefly near 50 for a high before that rain moves in. Mostly clear by later this evening, down to 28 degrees by daybreak. Cloud cover tomorrow after some early sunshine and then showers later in the afternoon and evening. Our high temperature at 50 degrees. Seven day storm authority forecast looks just like this. On our Sunday, we're looking for clouds, then some peaks of sunshine. Temperatures climb to 51 for a high. On Monday, more in the way of cloud cover by afternoon. And there is the chance we could see a few showers. Showers possible Tuesday and Wednesday as weak systems move in. 57, a stray shower Thursday, then cooler again. Upper 40s, scattered showers next Friday. Jessica.